What's going on everybody? Tim from Persistent and Wolf Billiards here. Today I'm going to be breaking with the Pachauer Naked Black Ice Combo. Uh, I really like the Black Ice Shaft. It's weighted forward so you can deliver a powerful break without ever really smashing the balls apart. I'm shooting today on the 9 foot table and I'll be taking screenshots of each break's uh, break speed to show how I get consistent spread. I'm also shoot, uh, breaking off of a template rack by Outsville. So, here we go. Break number one was 12.45 miles per hour. And as you saw, got a fairly good spread. Now, a lot of the top players are you know, breaking substantially harder and faster than I do. But I still get a fairly good spread on the table. And yes, even though it is a template rack, I do get consistent. Uh, ball drops. So we're just going to re rack. Now, I always uh, rack exactly the same way. And I break from pretty much the same spot. Gonna break again. This is break number two. Once again. 12.23, again, pretty good spread on the table, even though I didn't sink anything that time. I did take a little bit off on that one, so. Now one of the things that I'm noticing is uh, my break today, I'm actually drifting off to the, from where I'm breaking from the left, so that means that I'm consistently hitting to off the center of the ball. So we'll correct that in the next couple of breaks, so that way you can see what a more direct hit looks like. I will continue to break from the same spot though. That time the break speed was 12.83. As you can see, I get a consistent spread all the way across the table. We're going to do two more breaks of eight ball, and then I'm going to switch over to my 10 ball break. Um, the reason I'll be going to 10 ball next is because my 10 ball break is very similar to my eight ball break. So there's not a lot of discrepancies in that. My nine ball break is different than my my eight or ten ball break though. And you'll see why. So 
just want to take a minute. You know, if you guys like uh, the billiard content, please feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, we're growing the pool community together. It's a great sport. Uh, I'm actually getting my stepdaughter into it. Uh, she'll be taking part in the Junior Invitational this year down in uh, Roanoke this upcoming the end of this month. So, Break number four. Once again, 12.37, but as you see, very little tied up balls, very open rack. The unfortunate thing is if I was playing versus an opponent right now, uh, they would have a fairly easy run out. And that time I drifted to the right of the in the rack from where I was breaking. So that means I overcompensated my correction. So we're just going to bring it back just a hair, bring it back in line, and hit them well. Okay, so we go with break number five. This will be the last eight ball break. And that time I hit it way slower than normal. That was a 10 mile per hour break. Um, actually miscued a little bit and hit way off the, the left of the head ball. But as you can still see, I still got a fairly decent spread. And that was with minimal effort or minimal speed. So we're gonna switch out to 10 ball. One of my favorite games to play. And we're going to get rid of these. nine ball rack is taken from another fellow YouTuber, Backyard Billiards, where the one, two, and three are on the corners. Now, just like before, I do break from the same, same spot, which is why this one's the one that I'm following up with. So, screenshot. Here we go.
wide open spread of 10 ball. Break speed was 11.49. Balls pretty much traveled in the directions that they're supposed to, uh, uh, with a little more, a little more power behind it. The, I believe it was the two ball would have gone into the corner pocket. go again. This is number two. That one was 11.79 miles per hour as you can see there it did cluster up a little bit um, that was due to me hitting off center not hitting where I needed to on the head ball so I didn't get the reaction that I should have once again I have to come a little further to the right on my on my aim little bit better of a spread and that was only a 10 mile an hour break and I managed to drop the seven ball I once again though did hit off the wrong side of the one instead of getting that full contact that I wanted I glanced off and uh, came over to the left side of the table from where you guys are it's the right side Let's break number four. That time was a 12 mile an hour break. And as you see, I got a cluster again. Again, ended up uh, coming over and hitting this left rail after the break. Nice and 
locked up there. And now for my fifth and final break of 10 ball. See if we can get a good head on hit this time. fuller of a hit, ended up scratching, but it was a almost a 12 mile an hour break. It was 11.94, and as you can see, the spread was there, and I dropped the four ball. Only tied up balls were the two and the seven. Now, as you can see, I'm not hitting with the amount of power that pros are by any stretch of the imagination. And now the nine ball break. So, my nine ball rack is typically the same as every time. One in the front, two in the back. And we're switching up the nine ball. means I also have to switch where I'm breaking from. So my nine ball break is even with the corner of the pocket and just before the second dime. aim to hit the one full on. Now my nine ball break is Recording faster. It's it's 13.58 on that break, and obviously with the template rack, I'm nine times out of ten going to make the wing ball. Okay, break number two. Let's get some. That one was twelve oh six. Still drop that wing ball. Still got a fairly good spread. Um, lost control of the cue ball though, because it did end up behind the rack. What's going on? We're finishing up the last three racks. Unfortunately, uh, my last three breaks last night were not recorded due to my camera having a record time limit. So 
as you can see, I'm on my home seven foot table, so uh, speed will vary a little bit, but let's do this. Again, pretty consistent wing ball. You'll notice that my the balls at home are a little bit different. Still got red. Uh, the brake speed on that one was only 10.65 miles per hour. A uh, little bit due to the fact that um, I was a little cramped on my brake. I'm gonna fix that up real quick and. We'll hit them strong. All right, so this is going to be break number four of the nine ball breaks. That one was 12.19. I still lost control of the nine, uh, the cue ball a little bit because I'm not quite in the center of the table. It did drift to the side. I did, however, sink two balls that time. I can see the one ball, so this should be, you know, a fairly easy out. Once again, I am still using the bang time format for uh, where the balls go. One in the front, nine in the middle, two in the back. Obviously, nine ball rules always have the nine ball in the center. Okay. going to be the fifth and final break. All right. Here we go. Once again, we have a full table spread. Cue ball went behind the rack a little bit. I can still see the one ball, not an ideal spread. A uh, couple cl cluster areas. All in all, you know, I'm not bashing the balls. My brake speed average is, is sub 13 miles per hour. Uh, but as you can see, even with a lighter brake, I still get substantial spreads throughout. So. I recommend the Black Ice and uh, Patara Naked Brake Cue. I think it's a great deal. I didn't even change the tip. It's the shower gold tip that comes with it. But until the next video, hit them hard.